But I just want to go through here a few cavity wall details. So I've got quite a nice job where it shows a good cross section of it. So the first thing we'll start with is wall ties. Very important. They'll be set to the length of what wall you've got. So you've got to get the wall tie to suit the wall width because the cavities can vary. You've got a little drip in the middle of the ties here, which allows any water that's touching the outside skin to drip off. Because you can see the cross section here, you've got the outside skin and then you've got the inside skin there. Spacings on wall ties. Every course at a reveal, so a door opener or window opening, they are on every course. And they're on every other course everywhere else on the wall. The spacings horizontally is 750. I've gotten closer on this because it's only a short section of wall. And the spacings vertically, like I said, that's matched to the height of the insulation then. And then you've got your insulation. So we've got 50 mil insulation in here, which is all we can get in this width of the cavity because it's a garage conversion, but it's up to about 100 mil now. And the insulation, seen the wall ties like that, and then we've got clips then that fit onto the insulation and just snap down like that. And that stops the insulation moving then. And it can't move and hit the outside skin because obviously you don't want anything touching the outside skin because you get damp and cold bridging then. So another thing to note here is sometimes people use cavity closers but we're, and it means you don't return the cavity like down here, but we're returning the cavity. So we're using something called the insulated DPC. So that means you can return the block work and then no damp comes through, but also you've got the insulation to stop the cold bridge in. Because if you just had plain DPC and returned the block work, you wouldn't have the damp coming through as such, but you would have the cold tracking through and that would cause damp then because you get warm air hitting the cold block work inside. So that's why you've got the insulation there. You can make your own with some insulation as well, but I find it easy to buy the ready-made stuff. So I hope that gives a basic understanding of what a cavity wall is and how it works. And I think very effective a cavity wall is uh, not really anything better out there. I'll just show a bit more of the cross sections you can see there.